All right, all right. It's your boy. Let's get Wicked Triple Six, Sons of Midnight, a.k.a. You know the rest. Let's break it down, first of all, as to, you know, how good February was for the Juggalo Week and month-long live stream extravaganza. Um, first of all, let's get into the whole three-ring live concert extravaganza. I thought it was pretty good. Um, never, you know, I didn't really pay attention to the opening acts too much, and that's just my preference, you know. I, I It would have been different if I was there. If I was there, I would have paid attention to the opening acts, but watching it from home, um, I just wanted to see the main acts, you know. Uh, so from the little bit that I saw on the... the uh, Opening act, some of it seemed generic. Zitro, he wasn't bad. Um, I I don't see why Val and Jay got such a hard on, uh, you know, over him on uh, the Gong Show. He was good, but he wasn't fan fucking tastic. Wig split, fucking blown my wig off type shit. He was good, but he wasn't like. And this isn't a diss to Zitro or whatever at all. This is just my personal opinion on this. He was good, but he, he didn't make my jaw go and drop type shit. Um, and the same went for the Three Ring concert as well. He didn't just drop my jaw. Uh, drop my jaw. See, say that pretty fit three times fast. Um, so that, you know, Zitro was probably the best opening act. Uh, what I was thinking was fucked up was the dude who came on right before ICP first came on, who was like this at the mic, and I swear to God, his nose was bleeding and shit. It looked like it. He was bleeding, and then he took some stuff and sprayed it all over his face and sprayed it in the crowd. Like, what the fuck? That, I, that there just grossed me out. I'm sorry. I don't want, if that was blood and it looked like blood to me, I don't want your blood flying onto me. I don't even want to risk getting your fucking blood like spilling on me all right especially with this whole covid shit fuck no you keep your goddamn blood to yourself you don't know that person's got hiv you, you don't fucking know i don't want that shit i don't want you to spray blood on me and it would have been mixed in with the again it looked like blood to me maybe it wasn't but if it was blood this is all a what if it was and type of situation and if it was that's fucked up um so i think zitro was probably and j villain was probably my two favorite openers on there um the dude look like a hair in my mouth the dude who uh did like the oops i did it again cover was pretty funny with that that was pretty hilarious um so let's talk about the performances of the main acts Ouija killed it as usual. Big Hoodoo killed it as usual. Um, I liked them both. You know, I liked Ouija over Big Hoodoo for this, for sure. Uh, it was just my personal preference. Again, you each probably have your own. Um, I don't really know any Ouija songs. Not really. I haven't listened to them a whole shit ton. I know, I know, I know. I need to because he's fucking dope. But I haven't. Uh, that's my bad. And... Uh, ICP, their set was dope. Um, they did a fire ass set. My only gripe there, there, fuck hair, shit. I, I thought I was eating pussy, but I wasn't. But anyway, um, my only gripe about ICP set was. The fuck up on Net and Game. It just, that was the worst performance of Net and Game I've seen. I mean, it was all off like beat for like Jay coming in late or too fast. I mean, it would, there, it just, it just was not good. That was my only gripe about it. That's it. Besides that, it was fresh, but that, that Net and Game performance was fucking terrible. But all the all in all, I loved the fucking uh I loved the old shit that they did. 
uh, because I can relate more to the old shit because I'm I'm not the biggest fan of the newer stuff. Um, And yeah, I mean it. uh, it, All the all in all, the three ring live concert extravaganza was dope. It was dope. Um, It seemed like there there was literally a lot more openers than there were main performers. So. And I, I didn't talk about DJ Clay. DJ Clay killed it as usual too. I'm I don't listen to him his stuff a whole lot, but uh, you know that that's just me. Um, just as like with Ouija Mac and Big Hoodoo, I don't listen to them a lot. But when you look at the performance times, ICP's combined was about fifty six minutes. Um, about an hour basically. Ouija was about 20 minutes. Big Hoodoo is probably about 20 minutes. I don't exactly recall. Clay was probably about 20 minutes as well, I would think. And then the rest, the opening acts had an hour, a good hour and a half, which was wild. Um, I'm just, I don't know. I, I really just cared about the main, the main performers. And that's just me. If I were there, I would have paid attention, but, I didn't pay attention to the opening acts too much. Now I'm going to do another video talking about the month as a whole. But uh, for the three ring live concert extravaganza, it's a five out of five for me. Um, definitely was definitely worked out well. I, I definitely enjoyed it. And uh, I hope they do another thing like this in April.